Hello. Okay, so welcome to Midnight Margaritas. I am going to be painting a margarita glass in 10 minutes or less. Can she do it? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Pixie, thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> that was not kind. Let me know if you think I can do it. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing today is I wanted to talk to you about some of the benefits of teaching paint parties. And while I talk about that, I wanted to um, paint a margarita glass and see if it turns out to be a painting that I can use for paint parties. Okay, so please say hi. Let me know if you currently teach paint parties or if you are new to this world. And um, my name is Heidi Easley and I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties online in person and with art kits. So I'm excited to just take a minute to tell you some of the reasons why um, I got into this and share a little bit about my story and then um, also hear from you. So let me know in the comments if you are teaching paint parties and we're gonna do this in less than 10 minutes. So please say hi as you come on. I'm gonna put a comment. I'm just gonna put the letter, let's see, it's only letting me. Letter P. Pixie. Well, I could only get to a D because oh. <laughs> the way the thing's on here. Okay, so I'm using some greens here, some pretty lime greens here. And then we're going to do some splatter paint too. So number one, go ahead and put in if you already teach paint parties or if this is something you're thinking about doing. And if this is your first time watching or are you already familiar? And if you're familiar, you might already know my bankruptcy story. So let me know if you know it or if you haven't heard it yet. So again, um, years ago we went bankrupt, lost everything. And um, I remember, you know, thinking like, there is no way out of this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, and just being kind of in a, you know, really sad, kind of depressed, not really sure what was next thing. Pixie, who's in here, she's in the art studio right now. And um, she was, um, a baby at the time and I mean again another scared thing when you just have a baby you think you have everything figured out and of course life hit me upside the head and I had nothing figured out but we lost our house we lost everything and then I started doing I started painting these little surfboards to heal and so when I did that I did not realize that it was going to change the the whole thing of my life. And I, I know God always has a plan because when I talk about my bankruptcy now, I, I literally smile because as you know, hard as it was back then, I know that it has taught us so, so much about today. So let me know in the comments if you've ever had you know a time in your life where you're like, oh, this is gonna be you know the worst thing ever. And then you look back and you realize it was almost like a blessing in disguise. So um, right here we have the um, margarita glass. I'm gonna start adding some details and then we're gonna splatter paint it. And again, we're doing this in 10 minutes or less. So the whole reason I wanted to get on here was kind of just to share that even when you have failures that you think are too big to get through, there's always a reason, there's always a, a way out. So I just wanted to really um, hopefully give you some inspiration and I know sometimes we can think, you know, to do paint parties, like how is that supposed to be anything major, right? But it can totally change your life, like it did mine. So I started, you know, painting these little little mini surfboards, and I was a school teacher at the time. I had about 850 kids at my school, and they kept asking, Miss Easley, can you paint me a surfboard? And I was like, No, I'm just doing this for fun, you know, just trying to, you know, art therapy basically. And then before you know it, I had um you know, almost 150 kids would ask me to, to paint these surfboards. And so I thought, oh, maybe there's something to this. So I ended up renting out a space at Pier Park. And um, my mother-in-law who knew, you know, we weren't in a position of really like coming up with money to do a business. She said, well, let's do it 50-50 and let's work together. So me and Bobby and my mother-in-law and my stepdad all got together, or my father-in-law, all got together and started doing this um, surfboard business. And we started painting these little hand, sur you know, hand, um, hands, I mean, we, we sawed them everything. And then we set up at Pier Park and nobody shows up. And I remember just being like, 
you gotta be kidding me. Like, this is, this was my second chance. This is my third. Like, you know, what am I supposed to do? It isn't working. And then I realized that it's okay. People do not buy <laughs> during the day at the beach because they're at the beach. But at that time, I didn't know. My husband calls me, you know, because my mother in law is like, well, let's go, let's go have a drink. So we walk over to Buffalo Wild Wings and have a little drink. And I'm like, this is my second chance and it's not working. You know, what am I supposed to do? Just all these crazy things. And then um, my husband calls and it changes everything. He says, Heidi, get over here. You have orders. And I'm like, you're lying. And he's like, no, you got to get over here now. There's orders. And so I, I look at my mother-in-law and she's like, go, go, go. And so I, I, you know, walk tipsily across the street. If I'm, if I'm being honest with you, I was, you know, a couple of drinks in trying to figure out what my next step of life was, <laughs> feeling like a complete failure before the age of 30. And, um, and I typically walk across the street and I look at my husband and I'll never forget. He had like, we had these paper tickets for orders and he has this whole stack and he's like, get to painting. And he looks at me, he's like, get to painting. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you, you know? And so I, I um, start painting just, you know, laughing and painting. And, and I remember having that feeling of like being totally just done, you know, like just, you know, on the floor, on my face, like just feeling like this was it. And then, and then it was like, God scooped me up and said, not only is it going to be okay, but you're going to be able to do what you want for the rest of your life, which is painting, which is what I love. And so it was really a huge lesson. And I'm just taking this um, paint, this toothbrush from Amazon and just flicking the paint so we can get this midnight margarita look. Um, but it was just a huge lesson that, you know, we have to, um, you know, keep moving forward, keep trusting God to, to figure out where we're going to be because we don't know what's next. We don't know what's going to happen. So I went many, many years where I wouldn't talk about it at all. I was so, so ashamed and so embarrassed of it. And then I realized, like, once I started talking about it, once I started realizing, like, it wasn't just me that went bankrupt. You know, I found out later that millions of people had the same thing. And I'm not saying that that makes, um, makes it okay, but I am saying that it happens and things happen and we're not alone and we're not the only people that go through hardships. And so for a long time, I just, I felt so ashamed that I was the only person that could do that. Like, how dare I, you know, how was I allowed to do that? And, and I realized later in life, as I got older and you know, as I start to get a little bit wiser, I realize that it's okay. You know, God gives us second chances, third chances, fifth chances, and we can keep making mistakes and that's all right. But the main reason I wanted to share this with you is because paint parties is what has totally changed my family's finances. So as you're, you know, doing these, you know, fun little paintings or you're thinking of things that can help you, what I love sharing, I feel like sometimes I'm kind of the the Dave Ramsey of, of the art world because I want you to, to think about goals that you have and then figure it out and then make it happen. So, you know, paint parties, for example, when I first started were all about just making ends meet, you know, being able to pay my groceries, whatever that looked like. Then it became about, oh my gosh, this is bringing in some significant money. Maybe, you know, we don't have to have credit card debt. Maybe we can pay for our vacations in cash. And then it just became this new, fun, exciting thing. So now if I want something, I book a paint party. And it's not this thing of like, oh my gosh, I really want to go on this cruise, but you know, it's going to cost money. Well, think about how much it costs to do a paint party. You can literally make a profit every party. So as you're thinking about this, I just want you to, if you're brand new to this, just start thinking about the idea of it. You know, you don't have to go, oh my gosh, I got to do this right now. Like you can just take a breath, paint a couple of things and see if it's something that you really think that could happen. Because I would have never in a million years thought I'd be sitting here online teaching you about this. For number one, back 17 years ago, this wasn't even an option <laughs> to do this and teach you like this online. But there's so many opportunities if we just look for them Ask God to help us share those opportunities, show up, figure out what we can do. And there's so many possibilities. So I want you to, as you're doing this, let me see how I'm on time. Am I in the 10? Oh, <laughs> am I in the 10 minutes? Oh my gosh. I'm wondering if I'm getting close to the 10 minutes. 
Oh, I need to do that front part. Um, so yeah, so I really want you to know, like, you know, if you're brand new to watching me, let me know. I'd love to go back in the comments. If you've been watching for a while and you just haven't taken action because you're scared, I get it. I understand. It can be terrifying. But what's more terrifying, and I heard this quote from somebody else. They said, your dreams don't die. They haunt you. Oh, doesn't that give you chills, right? Your dreams don't die. They haunt you. And when I heard that, I thought, man, I would rather take action and fail a few times getting to the point where I'm doing what I want to do or what I need to do than to never take action and to wonder what would have happened. You know, years ago, I didn't have this creative artsy life. Everything was, you know, a corporate world, spreadsheets. Can you all imagine me in charge of numbers? It was not, not a good thing. But that was my life. Now, you know, I, I did that every single day for five years. I worked in what's called workforce management <laughs> at a call center. And I remember just dreaming of, oh my gosh, I'm going to be an art teacher one day. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do this. But, you know, it wasn't until I started taking bold moves and taking action towards it that it started to happen. So now I'm so thankful because I get to wake up and my job includes this. This is part of my job. I'm like, you know, sorry, honey, I can't help with this right now. I got to go paint for a living. <laughs> and that is the funnest thing ever. And I know funnest is not a word. Please don't, don't, you know, hate me. But, but it's just so cool to be able to be like, this is part of my job. Getting to paint this margarita glass right now. Getting to hang out with you. Getting to talk about how paint parties has totally changed my life. So I would love to go back and read your comments. Please let me know how paint parties have changed your life. I would love to come back in a little bit and read your comments and see once I get off of here and find my toothbrush because I want to add lime green splatters because I just feel like it needs it. Oh my gosh, so fun. And I'm wearing white shorts today too, so that's lovely, right? Just in case. I, I didn't need to ruin another pair of shorts. So I, could, I get a chance right now. So anyway, let me know if you're new to this, if you're brand new to teaching paint parties, or you're just now starting to think about this. Because we are, if you're watching this right now, we're at the end of May. So if you're like, why is she painting a, a margarita or calling it Midnight Margarita? And um, you could use this for summer or even something cool for fall. You know, Midnight Margaritas, I love Practical Magic. And I wanted to do this really kind of fun, easy painting. But this is something really, really cool that you could do and get ready for fall and, you know, get your, your, um, your brain thinking, okay, what can I do in fall? What are some things we can do? And we have a ton of resources inside Paint Party Headquarters. So we open the doors for that a couple of times a year. So whenever you um, hear about it, make sure you jump on it because it'll be something fun that'll help you with your paint parties. All right, and there we go. Hopefully this was 10 minutes or less. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.